Hi everyone. Okay, we're going to have the constructions project that we'll be doing and it'll be online, it'll be kind of be your own independent thing. Now we have started it before, but I want to just start over and do it. First of all, I think this is probably our best choice for compasses. We had these. Um, and they have been tampered with enough that this is not useless, or this is not useful as a compass anymore. It's okay as a protractor. It's okay as a ruler. It's okay as a straight edge, which is what I'm going to use. In all constructions, you have a compass and you have a straight edge, and I'm going to use it as a straight edge. Okay, what I want you to start with is... constructing congruent segments. All right, well, let's just make a segment. Let's call it segment AB of some length. All right, now in order to construct a segment that is congruent to segment AB. I'm going to say, we're going to call it segment CD. I'll put point C right here. The next thing I want to do is set, and the ballpoint pen does work pretty nicely for the swivel, the pivot. I'm going to set the ballpoint pen, the red one here, on A, red cap, I don't think the pen's red. And I'm going to reset it here on C, and I'm going to draw an arc with this one. If the pen will work, there it works. And then it's simply a case of drawing, getting your straight edge out, and drawing from C to your arc, D. And we have constructed segment AB congruent to segment CD. All right, I'd like for you to do that on your paper. I would like for you to draw three more segments and construct their congruent segments using this technique that I just showed you. I'd like for you to vary the lengths on this. Okay? So do that three more times. That's just for practicing and understanding. Now, the next thing I want you to do is to construct a segment bisector. Now while we're doing this, it will also be a perpendicular bisector. Okay, let's start with a segment. I'm going to call this EF. Okay, now you're going to set your point on E and you're going to draw a nice big arc. You need to be closer to F than you are to E. You need to be over halfway across with this arc. Let me make it a little bit smaller. And then you need to draw a nice big arc here at E. Now at F, you want to do the same thing. I did not change the setting and I'm going to draw an arc that crosses this arc two times. So you make a football basically and these two points, the points of our football, I'm going to call G and H and I'm going to connect them with my straight edge.
And what I've done is we call this point I right here. EI and FI are congruent. Segment EI is congruent to segment FI, which means we've bisected the segment. In addition to that, I think if you look closely, that is a right angle. So EF, the big segment, is perpendicular to GH. So we've made the perpendicular bisector. All right, you can go back and look at the steps I took, but I'd like for you to do that for different lengths. I want you to construct three more perpendicular, I'm getting lazy, I could write the word out, but I'm going to use the symbol, bisectors. That is constructing a segment bisector, also a perpendicular bisector. The next thing I want to do is construct congruent angles. All right, well, let's make an angle. There's my angle. I'm going to I'll go out past it a little bit here. I'm going to call this angle J. Okay, I may also put a point here and a point here. No, I'll leave those points. I'll worry about those points later. Angle J. Now I want to construct an angle that is congruent to angle J. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is draw one side of my congruent angle. I'll put this as angle K. Now, I'm going to put my pivot point on J. Now I need to draw an arc that hits both sides of the angle. Oops, let me kind of start that again. You really don't want that thing moving. Okay, I think I'm good right there. Alright, let me call that L and that M. I wanted to wait till now to name those points. I don't change the setting. I keep the setting that I used for that arc and I put the point, the pivot down here on K of the compass and I'm going to draw an arc again. And I'll call this point where it hits LMN. I'll go N. Okay. Now I come back up to this angle. I set my pivot on M, my other point on L. Okay, and I'm going to put this pivot here on N and cross this arc right here. And I'm going to call this point N O. Okay, and then I have how to draw this other ray now so that the angles are congruent. All right, I draw that there. An angle MJL, which was my original angle. We've constructed an angle congruent to it, and that is angle NKO. Oh, look, I'm writing twice. Wasn't, that wasn't intentional. Okay. Let's construct for your practice, three more congruent angles. Make sure at least one pair is, oops, pair, is obtuse. All right, so I did, these two angles are acute. I'd like for you to do one that's obtuse. Now, let me kind of 
you set and make sure that's tight. I can move it, but it won't change on me. And the last thing for this section is I want you to bisect an angle. Now here are the steps for bisecting an angle. First, let's make an angle. And oh, let's make it an obtuse angle just to make it interesting because I haven't done that yet. There's my obtuse angle. I'm going to call it angle P. Now, to bisect angle P, I first put my pivot on the vertex, the point of my compass on the vertex, and I draw an arc that hits both sides of the angle. Just like I did before. And I'll call this point Q and this point R. So now I have angle PQ or nope, RPQ or QPR. Okay. The next step and I'm going to change the setting. I'm going to make it a little wider. I'm going to put my pivot on R. Are you seeing this? Yes, you are. And draw an arc. And then I'm going to move my pivot over to Q. This is from the first arc we drew. Whoops. And draw another arc right there. And this point where they meet, I'll call point S. I'm writing on my title, I know that, but that's all right. No big deal. Okay. Next thing I do is I draw this. And voila. Angle QPS. This angle right here is congruent to angle RPS, which means I have split the big angle into two equal angles. And that's how you bisect an angle. Do this. Angle bisectors. three more times. For practice. Alright, that is our first installment in constructions. So I will leave you with that and let you work on that. It'll be working independently. We'll be doing it during class sometimes. But goodbye for now. But this is our first installment. We'll do other things later.